John Roberts, who's in charge of BCRC communications. Uh, we have an announcement to, to make today uh, as part of a program, BOLO program, that's been extremely successful for us in the past, and uh, we're excited about uh, making a new announcement. We have uh, three primary speakers. It'll be Inspector Steve Cork, who's the officer in charge of the mission RCMP. We have uh, Max Angua, the uh, director of the BOLO program, and Linda Annis with uh, Crime Stoppers. Uh, the three of them will speak, and Staff Sergeant Andy Minko will provide uh, there's, uh, comments in French, after which time we're happy to take any questions. And just for awareness, the news release and all the images will be posted on the BCRCMP website and available, as well, of course, the Volo program, uh, if you can uh, use those images and share accordingly since we launched this awareness campaign. So with that, sir. Good morning, all, and thank you for being here today. <clears throat> My name is Inspector Stephen Corp and I am the officer in charge of the mission RCMP here in British Columbia. We are here today to announce a new strategy and an awareness campaign in an effort to locate a man wanted on a Canada-wide warrant since November of 2019. In 1982, John Norman Mackenzie was sentenced to life in prison after he was convicted of a second degree murder. As of August 2018, Mackenzie was serving that sentence at the Mission Corrections Institution. On August 7, 2018, Mackenzie went missing. The Mission RCMP are conducting an investigation and have determined that Mackenzie escaped from the Mission Correctional Institution and is currently at large. The initial investigation revealed that Mackenzie was considered a low-key inmate, but also that he is extremely intelligent and computer savvy. Mackenzie has been known to carry fake documents such as driver's licenses and passports. The Mission RCMP believe that Mackenzie may have fled Canada and is currently at large internationally. Despite our continued efforts, he has not been located. Today, in an effort to bring awareness to help locate John McKenzie, the Mission RCMP are partnering with the BOLO program, who is launching an amplification program to run online, in print, on television, radio, and strategical physical locations throughout the country. The RCMP is committed to continued collaboration with our domestic and international partners, and are hopeful this new relationship with the BOLO program will be the key in locating Mackenzie so he can be returned to Canada to answer to these charges. Mackenzie is described as a Caucasian male, 59 years of age, approximately 5 feet 8 inches tall and 197 pounds. He has light brown hair and blue eyes. We are asking anyone who has information about John McKenzie's whereabouts to contact their local police or Crime Stoppers. Those who provide information that leads to McKenzie's arrest may qualify for the reward being announced here today by the BOLO program. I would now like to introduce Mr. Maxime Langlois, Director of the BOLO program, to tell you more about that program as well as the reward. Good morning. Again, it's a pleasure for me to be over mainland today. Uh, the BOLO program is proud to launch and support amplification campaign in the lower mainland. That's four amplification campaigns in less than a year, each time coming with a major reward and generating millions of impressions to make sure British Columbians are on the lookout for Canada's most wanted. And I want to thank the people of the lower mainland for being on the lookout and for submitting critical tips to the authorities. Your tips have made the difference and will continue to make the difference. In two years of existence, the BOLO program has seen its share of most wanted cases, include, including suspects wanted for murder, aggravated assault, manslaughter, and money laundering. The John Norman Mackenzie case is a first for the BOLO program insofar as Mackenzie isn't a suspect per se. He is rather a convicted criminal who was serving a heavy sentence for second degree murder at the Correctional Service of Canada's mission, mission institution. As usual, we huge, we huge urge sorry, citizens to be on the lookout and not to hesitate to 
call the police for Crime Stoppers if they believe they may know something of the whereabouts of Mackenzie. Every detail matters, every tip matters. Just like for previous cases, the Bodo program is pleased in cooperation with Metro Vancouver Crime Solvers to offer a reward up to $50,000 for any information leading to the arrest of John Norman Mackenzie. Crime Stoppers has a well-established system not only to handle tips anonymously, but also to handle reward payments in a completely anonymous way. Take note that this $50,000 reward is only available until July 8, 2020. I want to thank the leaders and members of the Mission RCMP Detachment for their tremendous work in launching this amplification campaign. I also want to thank Linda Annis, Executive Director of Metro Vancouver Crime Stoppers, for this great partnership that we've established so Crime Stoppers can manage and offer photo program funded rewards. I would like to conclude by reminding Mr. McKenzie that despite what he may think, there's nowhere to go. Someone knows where you are, Mr. McKenzie, and it's only a matter of time until you're captured, put back behind bars, and face new charges for having been unlawfully at large. As such, there's only one right thing to do. Wherever you are, grab the phone, call a lawyer, and make arrangements to turn yourself in. Thank you. Now I'll let Linda Annis from Crime Stoppers talk to you. Thank you, Max. Crime Stoppers is pleased to support this push of the BOA program and the Mission RCMP to find and arrest John Norman McKenzie. The only thing that's needed here is the information that will lead to his arrest. At Crime Stoppers, we fully understand that anyone who knows his whereabouts is likely to have some reservations about reporting him. The fear of reprisal, uh, if they were to give their name, included with any evidence uh, given directly to the police, may be fearful to them. For our part, Metro Vancouver Crime Stoppers has agreed to receive anonymous tips about John Norman McKenzie's whereabouts. Crime Stoppers will handle the reward of $50,000 to anyone who anonymously provides us with this information that leads the authorities to the arrest of John Norman McKenzie and charges laid. It's easy to get the information to Crime Stoppers, no matter who or where you are. We accept tips in 115 different languages. You can contact us in a number of ways. You can either call the police at 911 or you can call the Mission RCMP directly at 604-826-7161. But if you want to report anonymously, call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS. That's 1-800-222-8477. You can also report anonymously through our website, www.solvecrime.ca or on the link on our Facebook page. And if you have a smartphone, you can also submit a tip to a downloadable app, P3, and it's a Crime Stoppers reporting app that comes directly to us. Crime Stoppers guarantees anonymity to anyone who calls us. No one submitting anonymous tips to Crime Stoppers will ever be questioned or called to testify so we urge anyone with the information on John Norman McKenzie to come forward and they will be safe. Thank you very much. My name is uh, Staff Sergeant Annie Neto and I will now read uh, Inspector Corp's statement in French. After that, we will be happy to uh, answer your questions. Bonjour, nous sommes ici pour annoncer une nouvelle stratégie, une campagne de sensibilisation visant à retrouver un homme recherché depuis novembre 2019 en vertu d'un mandat pan canadien. En 1982, John Norman McKenzie a été condamné à la prison à vie après avoir été reconnu coupable de meurtre au deuxième degré. Jusqu'au mois d'août 2018, M. McKenzie purgeait cette peine à l'établissement correctionnel de Mission. Le 7 août 2018, M. McKenzie a disparu de l'établissement. Des membres de la GRC de Mission ont mené une enquête et ont déterminé que M. McKenzie s'est évadé de l'établissement correctionnel de Mission et qu'il est actuellement en liberté. 
L'enquête initiale a révélé que M. Mackenzie était considéré comme un prisonnier discret, mais qu'il est aussi extrêmement intelligent et doué en informatique. M. Mackenzie avait l'habitude de posséder de fausses pièces d'identité, comme des permis de conduire et des passeports. Les policiers de la GRC de Mission croient que M. Mackenzie a peut-être quitté le Canada et est actuellement en liberté dans un autre pays. Malgré tous les efforts déployés, les policiers n'ont pas réussi à le retrouver. Aujourd'hui, dans le but de sensibiliser la population et d'aider à retrouver John McKenzie, la GRC de Mission s'associe au programme Volo, qui lance une campagne, une campagne de diffusion de masse en ligne dans les journaux, à la télévision, à la radio et dans des endroits stratégiques partout au pays. La GRC est déterminée à poursuivre sa collaboration avec ses partenaires nationaux et internationaux et espère que cette nouvelle collaboration avec le programme Volo sera la clé qui permettra de retrouver M. McKenzie afin qu'il puisse être rapatrié au Canada pour faire face aux accusations qui pèsent contre lui. Voici la description de M. McKenzie. Homme de race blanche, 59 ans, 5 pieds 8 pouces et 197 livres, cheveux bruns, yeux bleus. Nous demandons à toute personne qui a des renseignements sur l'endroit où se trouve John McKenzie de communiquer avec le service de police de la région ou avec échec au crime. Toute personne qui fournit les renseignements menant à l'arrestation de M. McKenzie pourrait recevoir la récompense annoncée aujourd'hui par les responsables du programme Volo. Merci.